Okay. All right. Uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise to Yahweh, uh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Um, and me and the brother, uh, Dasan, you all brothers should know him, uh, but all, you know, leave a link to his channel in the description box down below or the, in the comment section. You know, you brothers can go subscribe to his channel if you are not subscribed. Uh, but anyway, we just wanted, you know, to do a little video, you know, going into, you know, certain topics in the scriptures. So, uh, anyway, uh, my brother Dasan, anything you want to start off with? Uh, yeah. Um, uh. I'll just be starting off with the, um, you know, like starting off with the what's to the what's the fate of you know these uh Edomites, you know? Yeah, like man. That. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you know? know, contrary to you know what they, you know, are out here saying, man, these cats like especially just the other day, man, you had what the Fourth of July, right? So all these cats were walking around, you know, thinking that America's gonna be going on forever, man. But nobody realizes that hey, this place is done, man. I mean, hell, economically, you know, morally, and, you know, every other aspect, you, I mean, it's very clear that this empire, you know, called America, you know, in the scriptures it's called, you know, Babylon the Great, but it's very clear, man, that this empire is clearly going out. It's clearly done for. And, you know, these people are now even being able to see it, because I remember, say, for an example, you know, certain, like, say, prepper channels or survivalist channels, and in the recent months, they've been putting up videos like, you know, is this the end of the American empire or something like that? So even these people in the world who don't even have anything to do with, it, with the truth, even they can see it's something's going on right now. Hmm. That's, that's pretty deep. I mean, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah. So as I said, man, yeah, you know, we're, we're definitely, you know, in some spiritual times right now, man. You got... You know, like the other day, there was a situation that went down where uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, Chief Priest, or he calls himself Chief Priest uh, El Azar of Sakari, he said that he is, you know, the top chief priest right now. It's like, you know, with everything going on right now, why the hell would one be trying to establish himself as being the top dog, you know, over Israel right now? So it just shows you, man, at the mind of, you know, even a lot of our people who claim to be in the truth. You know, they're not even in the right state of mind right now. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, brother, you had yeah. any uh you had any precepts you wanted to bring out? Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh so I guess numbers uh thirty five, um verse thirty four, you know. Mm -hmm. And so 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 you shall not pollute the land where you eat or for Blood it it blood it defiles the land and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed there and by the land by, by the blood of him that shed it. Right, right. And that, and now why I go over that, go ahead and pull up uh, Revelation chapter thirteen, verse nine and ten. Because you see, you know, what these people don't understand is if you bring up, say for example, the whole slavery thing, you know, what happened to our people here. You know, they'll say, well, that's in the past. But wait, if you go to, um, say for an example, if you go to, I believe that's um, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 15, it says that the Lord requires that which has passed. Right, so they won't bring those verses up because when you bring that up, well, now we understand that the Lord is going to require a payment for the blood that has been shed in America. So, you know, hey, that, that's a fearful thing, man, because... The Lord Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai, they're gonna they're gonna take this place down, man. And it's it's evident, man. So all you cats out here, you know that can't see it, man. You know, hey, as they they have a saying in the world, right? Your ass is grass. So, I mean, hell, if you can't see it, you know, the you guys out in the world, man, hey, then your ass is grass when Yahweh Shai gets you. Mhm. Mm yeah. Can't 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 trust can't trust in the oppression, you know. Right, right, absolutely, and that's what our people, you know, trust and believe in. Like, say, for example, you know, of course you had all, you know, our, our people out there celebrating the 4th of July. I mean, it's like, well, what the hell are you guys celebrating 4th of July for? I mean, you cats, y'all ain't free. Y'all y'all are living, you know, paycheck to paycheck, right? You don't show up to work for a day, man, your ass might get fired. So, I mean, you know, you guys are all, we're all still in slavery to this devil, you know, Esau, the so-called white man. But, you know, our people have been deceived into, you know, mm -hmm. believing that they are, 
you know, free. But, hey, it just shows you, man, that the mind of our people is just not right. Mm, yeah. And with the thing that just happened recently, like the, the June 10th, you know, when yeah. Biden was like, oh, uh, what he signed something to make the people free or whatever, or whatever he said. Uh, uh, I even, I even, I've heard something about that, but I haven't looked much into that. Okay, okay. But yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, I guess that was the day, you know, he said, oh, you know, you were free, you know, but, you know, reality, you know, we're not free, you know. Right, that, right, that absolutely. Day, I guess he signed something to make, to say, he, to say that we were free, you know. Right. And yeah, man, yeah, as but, I said, uh, sorry to cut you off. But yeah, man. As it was, um, as it was saying. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, man. I I don't have good internet. Um, but yeah, you know, as I was saying, man, it's very clear. You know, the time that we're in right now. You know, guys are out here. You know, playing games with this truth. Like literally, you have what's that cat? You know, Rock upon him, which he's an Issacharite. He's a he's a Mexican. So he he knows he's, you know, an Israelite. But he's out there playing video games. He he ain't doing no videos about the truth anymore. It's been at least eight months since he've put up a video even containing to the scriptures. So it just shows you, you know, you know, we got to use those guys as, you know, examples of how not to be in the times that we're in right now. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because you see a lot of things, you know, happening around the world in terms of like the drought, uh, the weather patterns, and uh, the heat. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and that's why, um, you know, that's why when you deal with the scriptures, you know, Shai, you know, he told us signs to look out for that would show us the time that we're in, right? Like, say, you know, Matthew 24, Mark 13, to name a handful, you know, when you see those things start to come to pass in the world, which we're seeing those things now, so now we can tell, okay, well, we're in those times then, because now we're seeing the prophecies, you know, being fulfilled, before our very eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. It's green. Yeah, um, man. Go ahead. Uh, I was just saying, like, yeah, it's crazy, you know, just to think about it. It's like, dang, man. Like, you know, our Lord's almost, almost here, like, he's coming. Yeah, yeah man, and, yeah. Uh, I mean, the signs, hey, the signs are all around us, man. So, you know, these guys in the world, man, like, even uh, Mind of God been talking lately about, you know, some guys come on his channel, uh, and say, well, well, Christ will return, somebody said, in a thousand years from now. I mean, that's crazy, man. So it just shows you that the mind state of the people out here who even claim it, they're in the truth, even they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Wait, you said that? Uh, not uh -huh. him, not not mind the God, but somebody in his comment section told him that, that they believe oh, okay. that it would be a thousand years. Mind of God says that the Christ will return within the next couple of days. That's what he teaches. Oh, okay. Mm. Next couple of days. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, we we know that according to the scriptures, we got to go through the uh, we got to go through the great tribulation, you know, and that's what we got to be preparing our people for, you know, those of us in this truth, that we're gonna have to go through a yeah. time of trouble. What is that? Uh, Daniel the twelfth chapter speaks about a time of trouble like never before. We're all gonna have to go through that. We are all gonna have to go through that time of trouble. But, you know, you got false teachers out here like Mind of God or, you know, certain other Christian pastors, you know, that teach their congregation that, um, you know, we're not going to have to go through those things that we're going to receive or whoever the elector is going to receive salvation before the, um, you know, the tribulation. But, hey, we got to separate ourselves from those false philosophies. So, you know, we got to teach our people, you know, the correct, you know, ways um, in these times that we're in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. That is a must. Yeah, anything is, you wanted to add in there, brother? Um, yeah, the, the Rev, uh, I'll get the scripture out the Revelation 13 and, 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 and 10. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you know, uh, he, he, you know, with Esau, you know, I mean, uh, so called Lyman, right? Yeah, I don't know if I yeah. say he's, you know, the, on the channel. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I hear you, man. As I said, we got A, we got to be careful with what we say now, so we'll just say E. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he, uh, he, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed 
with the sword. Here is the patient of the faith of the saints. Right, right, and that and that's how America was founded. America was was founded off of the the rape, robbery, and murder of the so-called black man, which is the Israelites. So with that being said, the land has to be shed uh, because of the blood that was shed on the land. The blood of uh, the land, um, bear with me just a second, there's a motorcycle going past. But uh, the Lord's going to have to require it at the hand of the man who shed the blood. So it's going to be blood for blood. And that's even when you go into the law, it speaks about, um, you know, say, for example, you know, if you commit murder, well, the, the punishment for murder is um is you lose your life as well if you premeditate and go out through with with taking another man's life so that's why it is it's blood for blood when you deal with the law so the lord's going to be righteous and he's going to take america out the same way it was established and that's why when you go to uh you know revelation 18 it says thus with violence should that great city be brought down right so the lord yahweh bahashem yahweh shai he isn't playing around man you know, these, these cats out here, man, we just got to be happy that, you know, we're not them. We got to be happy that we're in the know. And that's, you know, my my viewpoint on that. All right. All right. Yeah, definitely. Because you don't want to be like, you know, in the world and sleep and not know anything and, you know, just lost, you know. Because we were all once lost, you know, but the Lord has broken us up. Oh yeah, abs absolutely, absolutely, and I believe that what is that? That's uh, Ezekiel the thirty-seventh uh, chapter it speaks about the dry bones, which the dry bones represent the uh, the Israelites. And even when you go to Revelation eleven, it speaks about uh, their dead bodies shall lay in the street of that great city for three days and a half, which represents the time that we didn't know who we are, but now we know who we are. So now we're standing on our feet, and as it says. When they saw him, the great fear fell upon him, right? So these heathens are now starting to fear us because now we know who we are again and why it all pertains to the prophecy containing to the, the things that are happening in these last days. So, hey, these Christians, man, you know, the, these cats, you know, they clearly ain't on no level, man. It's clearly being revealed because according to statistics, the Catholic Church and, and really all of Christianity, they're dying out. Right, people are leaving those uh, religions at an alarming rate, man. Yeah. Yeah, Chris, Christianity, like, it's like, it's like that's old news now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, phew, don't do the trash. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, right. as I said, man, yeah, Christianity, man. I, and I know where some churches are around here, man. You, if you ever drive around there, you can see on their Sunday when they do their service, man. There's only like, what, seven, eight cars there? Before, there used to be like, what, <laughs> 50 of them there. So it just shows you that, you know, these, these churches, man, these churches are through. The, where Christianity is going out, man. Mm-hmm. And uh, when you would get up for, like, ch church on Sunday, from what I remember, it, like, I heard it was like, uh, what is it, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday service? Is it, uh, sun worship? Yeah, yeah, Sunday, right? Sunday is named after the, uh, after the sun, right? So it's sun worship. Yeah. And back then when I was, like, in the Christian, Christian churches, like, you know, I didn't go, like, um, I got went, but not, like, a lot, but still, like, you know, from the times I went, uh, you know, it's crazy that, you know, you had, they had us go on a sun, Sunday, and we didn't even know that it was just, Worship. Right, right, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, as I said, man, you know, the, the only thing I'll say, you know, in this time, man, is we just got to keep our eyes on the prize, you know. We just got to, you know, scriptures speak about you got to put off the mortal man, right? We got to put off, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We got to put off uh, increasing ourselves in this society, right? Trying to make a name for our, ourselves, trying to, you know, get a higher paying job. We got to put our time you know, into this thing, right, In, into these, these skip cheese. And that's what's going to pay off at the end of the day. So so anyway, brother, I'll, I'll pass the mic back to you. Okay. Um, uh, so, so, yeah, like, you know, with, um, you know, I just wanted to mention, like, uh, you know, when, 
ETT's past video about, uh, you know, your past video, um, the one with the, uh, uh, school, uh, the school they're planning to take away, you know, slavery and all that? Uh, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, like, um, I, I was just pretty shocked by that. I was like, oh, damn, wow, well, like, they're really trying to take away what, what they done, you know, like, and not teach it to the kids, you know? Yeah, yeah, and that's and that's the plan. And they've been trying to do that for a couple of years now. But I, I heard somebody, they were over, they were having a conversation. I overheard it, so I, you know, spirit got on me, to uh, was like, oh shit, that that'll be a good topic to do a video about, because I mean, that's that's what they, you know, want to do is they want to remove certain things from these, you know, school books, so that the children don't learn, you know, how America was founded, because they don't want, you know, that to be. They want to remove that from the books. So say in, if this place was to go on for another 20 years, so the next generation of children, you know, they won't know anything about that because that's removed from the school books. So it just shows, man, that this devil is just trying to hide, you know, his past from, from the young now. Mm-hmm. All the wickedness. <laughs> right, right. So, yeah, you know, anyway, brothers, we just wanted to, you know, come on and, you know, have a, you know, spiritual, you know, dialogue you know, talking about, you know, some stuff that was going on, you know, around us right now. So, you know, hey, you know, in conclusion, you know, all we can say is, you know, hey, all you brothers out there, man, we just got to, you know, continue, you know, to be following these scriptures, you know, to the best of our ability, man. You know, but anyway, uh, Desan, is there anything else you would like to uh, to say before we uh, end the lesson off? Uh, I, yeah, I think that's, I think that's about it. terms of that, you know. Okay, so yeah, uh, anybody that's uh, that's not subscribed to our brother Desan, you can find a link to his channel in the um, in the comment section. I'll put a link to it, so go subscribe to that brother down below. And anyway, we're gonna end off by, of course, giving all praises unto Yahweh, uh, yeah. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and uh, yeah. Yeah. yep, and 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 we're gonna say uh, shalom.